come, O Lord our God, before thine altar. From want of thy people, Lord. Bless us, O God, O Father, bless our Lord. Under thy cross we stand prepared to serve thee with devotion. Be it with sweat. Having confessed our sins unto God and asking for his forgiveness, let us recite the second act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault. In my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done or failed to do, I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. He emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Hallelujah. Because of this, God greatly exalted him, and restored him the name of the Lord and the other name. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to whom God is the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we pray you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Please be seated. O God, our Heavenly Father, through the resurrection of your Son, you have given us the gift of eternal life. Grant that as Jesus.
Jesus fed his disciples, we may bring the nourishment of his teachings to those who hunger for truth. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Acts. When the captain and the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him by at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit whom God has given, us, given to those who obey him. The Sanhedrin ordered the apostles to stop speaking in the name of Jesus and dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. The response is, I will praise you, Lord, for you have you have rescued me. Alleluia. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Alleluia. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Alleluia. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime, his goodwill. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn, rejoicing. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Alleluia. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me, O Lord. He be my helper. You change my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hallelujah. In a reading from the book of Revelations, I, John, looked and heard the voices of many angels who surrounded the throne and the living creatures and the elders. They were countless in number, and they cried out in a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and blessing. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea, everything in the universe cry out to the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and, great and honor, glory and might forever and ever. The four living creatures answered, Amen, and the elders fell down and worshiped. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority from ages past, now, and for ages to come. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with the burning coal, Cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, 
Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together with Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathanael from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it, and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore, full of 153 large fish. Even though there were many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, in like manner the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, Son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. Jesus said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that Jesus had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you. When you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, Follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated.
technical difficulty. We'll try to iron that out. Jesus said to them, Come have breakfast. Words that are taken from today's Holy Gospel according to John. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, it was not that long ago that we were in the season of Lent. The liturgical and the parallel liturgical celebration of the Lenten penitentials, the sadness of Gosh Kajala, the Stations of the Cross, in which we walked with Jesus, and through the 14 stations we recall his passion and his death. We were with Jesus on Palm Sunday when he came into Jerusalem for the final time. We were with him at the Last Supper in which he instituted the Holy Eucharist. We were with him as he walked to his own crucifixion and we were with him when we celebrated his resurrection. The high point of the liturgy on Easter begins at the altar of repose, which signifies the Lord's tomb. And in procession with the monstrance, and inside the monstrance was the consecrated bread, which in our belief and faith is the real presence of Jesus Christ. We went around the church three times, signifying a very holy number. And in the three times we went around the church, we stopped at the four corners, proclaiming that indeed the Lord has risen. Throughout the entire liturgical year, whether it be Advent, Christmas, Epiphany, Lent, Easter, or the ordinary time, we sit with Jesus. But every single celebration of Holy Mass, there is a common denominator. It is the presence of the Lord on his table. The presence of the Lord. Every single time that we come to church, Jesus says to all of us, come have breakfast. Because it is in the partaking of the Holy Eucharist that we have that spiritual connection with him. I remember one time saying, you know, when we lose a loved one, many times with the parting of a loved one, there are certain gifts that are given to us as in remembrance whether it be a picture or a piece of jewelry in which we recall our life with our faithful departed. Jesus wanted to leave something for us to be in remembrance of him. And so he changed the whole dynamics of the Last Supper by instituting the, the bread and the wine, which were a part of the Passover, into his body and his blood. We call this a mystery, a divine mystery, in which in our faith, Christ is present in the forms of bread and wine. In this year of 2022, the Polish National Catholic Church has set this year aside with the theme, Eucharistic People. 
Every single time that we gather, we have breakfast with Jesus. We share a meal with Jesus, and he is ever present. We come to the altar in prayer and in the receiving of the blessed sacrament where Jesus being present answers our prayers. We find solace when we're sad, when we're depressed. We pray unto the Lord through sickness and hard times. But the Lord is ever present to us. And in the sharing of the bread and the wine, which is his body and blood, he says to each and every single one of us, as he said to Peter, do you love me? Every single time that we gather at his table, he asks the same question deep within our hearts. Do you love me? My brothers and sisters, being disciples of the Lord, is to feed off of the Lord all the graces and the blessings that he has for us. Through good times and through bad times, he said, prior to his own ascension, I am with you always, even unto the end of the age. And so, my brothers and sisters, may we feed on the Lord, who gives us strength, gives us courage, and gives us hope. And may the blessings of the presence of the Lord be ever felt by all of us, now and forevermore. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised now and forever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Let us pray for the people of Ukraine, all those who have suffered and continue to suffer. And may we pray to the Lord that hearing our prayers, he would give protection and the blessed assurance that he is ever present in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in our deepest prayers for all abused and neglected children of the world, all abused and neglected animals, as well as all victims of violence, that through the grace and peace that our Lord Jesus Christ, we are ever brought closer into communion with him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our parish and for our congregation, for those especially who are sick and ill, that through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that they would receive strength, health, and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, Eternal Father, we come to you at the table of, your, of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We ask that as we place the sacred gifts on the altar of the Lord, that we might be blessed with your everlasting presence in the form of bread and wine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands of made, may become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this wine and water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands may become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you this day with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless the sacrifice which we have prepared the glory of your most holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Receive this offering, most holy Trinity, which we make in the memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May they whose memories we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God, our Heavenly Father. <laughs> Let us pray. In confidence, we come before you, Almighty God, and present you with our earthly gifts. Open the doors of heaven for us and send down the bread of life that we might be fed. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Let us get 
give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Uh, especially at this time when he became our Paschal sacrifice, he is the Lamb who took away the sins of the world. Through his death, he conquered death for us, and by his wondrous resurrection, he restored eternal life to us. Therefore, we join this day with the voices of angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O God in the highest. Please be seated. This morning, let us offer up the Eucharistic prayer number two, which is found on page 82 of our Mass Service booklets, which is the canon of St. Apollos. We give thanks to you, God our Father, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, whom in these last days you have sent us as Savior, Redeemer, and Messenger of your will. He is your word, inseparable from you. Through him you have made all things, and in him you were well pleased. You sent him from heaven to a virgin's womb. There he dwelt and was made flesh. He was revealed as your Son, born through the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin. When he suffered, he fulfilled your will and gained for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands to free from suffering those who believed in you. When he was betrayed to his freely chosen suffering, thereby to destroy death, to break the chains of darkness, to crush hell beneath his feet, to give light to the just, to make a covenant, and to manifest his resurrection. He took bread, he gave you thanks, and said, Take and eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. In like manner, he took the cup and said, This is my blood, which is poured out for you. Whenever you do this, do it in memory of me. Calling then his death and resurrection to mind, we offer you the bread and the cup. We thank you for allowing us to come before you and to serve you. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon the offering of your Holy Church to gather all in unity. Grant to all who partake of these holy mysteries the fullness of the Holy Spirit for the strengthening of their faith in the truth, so that we might praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him may glory and honor be yours with the Holy Spirit in your holy church. Forever and ever, Amen. 
let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it be unto you. And now, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Let us pray together, my brothers and sisters, the first communion prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. We will take the bread of heaven and we will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you. But only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for you shall be filled. Receive the body and the blood of Christ.
receive the body and the blood of Christ. Receive the body and the blood of Christ. Receive the body and the blood of Christ. Receive the body and the blood of Christ. Receive the body and the blood of Christ. Receive the body. Receive the body and the blood of Christ. 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 Shimi kar chao vi kred riskusa. Receive the body and the blood of Christ. O sacred banquet, memorial of the Last Supper, in which our Savior gives himself to be food for mankind, and in the deep of truth unites himself with them. Hear our prayers, heaven sent this day to thy majesty, that as many of us shall receive from this sacred altar, the body and blood of your Son may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Lord, may we possess with pure hearts that which we have taken as food, and may the gifts we have received this day bring us healing and strength, now and forever. Amen. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Lord be with you. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, for the God and And for the repose of the souls of our late departed brothers and sisters, eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May they all rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 